Tippy time my damies, Top Cat here and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a quite a special one for you. We are using an exotic that um, frankly I never really got to use because it was quite frankly majorly shithouse. But now thanks to a new SMG that has been launched this season we have finally got a utility to use this beast. We will be using the Fell Winter's Helm. It's armor perk, Warlord's End, powered melee final blows create a burst of energy that weakens nearby targets. Finishes and final blows against more powerful targets increase the radius and burst and the length of the weakening effect. So pretty much we're just going to chuck our Celestial Fire at one add, we want to target one, it's going to send out the weakening effect in an orbit around it. Obviously the bigger the target, the bigger the pulse wave. I was really hoping to make this with a void build, but unfortunately the void melee for the warlock is pretty shithouse in terms of actually killing things, it just likes to push things around. But now that we got the solar melee, this is working really nicely. It, as the tick damage and scorch effects trigger more weakening effects, it's really really fun. And not only is it really fun, but it's also really good. If you target this with the right group of ads, it's kind of like having 40 smoke bombs. You just chuck in them at one target and you're affecting like a whole horde of them. It's really, really good. So it does that suppression effect, the weakening effect that the hunter smoke does. So it's really powerful and just makes all some easy ad clear. As you can see here, they, they just can't do anything about me. You can use whatever melee you like, but I'm using the Celestial Fire. This is recently been updated by Bungie. It used to do 30 Scorch stacks and now it does 40. It doesn't state here on the character select screen that it actually does this but it is just a visual glitch so just take my word on that one. But I found the Celestial Fire was working better as I could pinpoint one target to kill said target and then it would spread the weakening effect making them easy to pick them off with my SMG. So obviously this is a melee based build, so we want to try and spec into our melee as much as we can. So we're going to be using the solar aspect heat rises. The bottom perk on this is the final blows whilst airborne increased duration of heat rises and grant melee energy. Now you don't have to be floating 10,000 miles up in the sky. Pretty much whenever you do your melee, you just literally need to just tap that jump. You just need to be off the ground slightly and it will give you an increased amount of melee energy. Now the second half of this build that truly makes it great is using the Unforgiven, the new submachine gun from the dungeon. Because it has this perk Repulsor Brace. Defeating a void debuff target grants an overshield. So just think about that for a second. We're chucking out a solar melee. We're getting our Radiant buff up. We're debuffing the targets, and when we're killing the debuff targets, we're getting an overshield. That is three really good perks to have all lining up with each other. You pet all this properly, and you are just an ad clearing machine, and this will work in any level of content. Just pick a target, melee, debuff, kill, overshield, rinse and repeat. It's so much fun, and you're just unstoppable. We will be using the Touch of Flame solar aspect. This is pretty much just going to buff our grenades. Doesn't matter what grenade you're using. I'm using Healing Grenade and Phoenix Dive, but you can use whichever of these like. Whether you want a Rift, Healing or Empowering, it doesn't really matter. It's just dealer's choice at the end of the day and won't affect the build too much. So just go with your own play style. I'm using Well of Radiance, same again. I just like this because I'm using it for a lot of boss damage, but dealer's choice. Ember of Eruption, your solar ignitions have an increased area of effect. Ember of Torches, powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant. Ember of Searing, defeating scorched targets grants melee energy. And Ember of Char, your solar ignitions spread scorch to affected targets. So essentially these fragments are going to help us burn things more essentially. And upon burning them with our melees, it's going to give us more melee energy back. Obviously, the more celestial fires we have, the more we can do this. So we're going to try and build into this as much as we can. Obviously, you don't need 
um, melee and G2 finish. So if you don't have a melee charge, just tap them a little bit with your gun, get the finish off, and that'll do the same weakening effect. But we want to try and spec into our melee energy as much as possible to make this build as devastating as possible. For our mods, we are running one elemental charge and one hands-on gain bonus super energy when we're getting melee kills, a melee well maker, focusing strike, this grants class ability when we cause damage with our melee attack, submachine gun loader, I found this quite necessary as the submachine gun isn't the greatest for reloads, heavy handed, this is also going to help with our fusion rifle and submachine gun kills, arc resistance, and Armor of the Dying Star, this will have good resistance against Solar and Void, Bountiful Wells, and Sword Scab as a generally running element, but uh, swap this out for whatever you're using. Seeking Wells, and Times 2 Outreach, reduces melee cooldown when using your class ability. We slap all this together and we got one hell of a melee build. This thing just slaps out Radiance, Slaps out Suppression, Weakening, and slaps out an Overshield. This is a really good build, guys, and I highly recommend you give this Warlock build a go. Anyway, my damies, that is the build for today. If you liked, please hit that like. If you really liked and you're new, hit that sub. Comment down below, and until next time, tippy time, my damies. What a tie.